What is up, Cowboys Nation? Your boy Mike Tag here. You know, it is a Tuesday. Just wanted to drop a little quick video. Again, appreciate all the support to the channel. Uh, definitely getting our subscribers, and you guys have been very loyal and, and, and you know, hitting that subscribe, hitting that like, and hitting that share. You guys don't know how much it, it does help our channel grow and grow, and we do appreciate it because it uh, wouldn't be nothing without you. And hopefully these Cowboys get going and get us hyped again and get us ready to roll. I know we're still licking our wounds uh, for the Saints, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is, like I always say, and you just got to look on to the next week. And, uh, you know, it was a crazy week in the NFL. The Eagles, you know, that wasn't so bad. That made the week yeah, – that salvaged the week a little bit, like I said. So you got that happening. I mean, the Ravens lose again to the Raiders this time, so they're going to be coming in. You know, very hungry. We're going to have our live show. Me and Kelly K9 going to mix it up and get down to brass tacks of this breakdown of the game tomorrow night live, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 Central. So make sure you check that out. And then again, the 49ers, they drop one. The Rams get blown out by the Cardinals. I mean, it was just one of those weeks, minute, you know, Minnesota look you just got these teams, the Lions lose to the Bucks. So you know, for Cowboy fans, it's it's like I said after week one, man, I don't get so high. I mean, we have fun with it, man. You got to enjoy every win, so I'm not saying we don't. But, you know, in the long term, don't get so high. Don't get so low after the losses. That was a tough one. Now, this one's going to be hard because we saw the same things that we all knew were going to be a problem in the offseason that really wasn't addressed. And, you know, they made some moves late. And you're thinking, OK, well, maybe they, they you know, they, they got some some guys to kind of handle that business and to, and to stop gap it. But, it, you know, we're going to get into the run defense a lot tomorrow. So I wasn't talking about that. I'm primarily just talking about the running game and our running game. And can we get going? And, you know, you got to look at it. The first game we had team rushing yards, 102 yards and a blowout win. You think, oh, that sounds, you know, sounds pretty good. But when you look further into it, I mean, C.D. Lamb with those end arounds are really big. So we're just focused on our running backs, our running back by committee philosophy and what we have. Is that enough? And you know your boy loves running. I love running the football. My favorite players always were running backs, starting with Tony Dorsett on to Emmett Smith and all the ones in between, to, to, you know, to Zeke. And, and um, you know, you got to be able to run the. I always say you got to be able to run the ball when they know you're going to run the ball and they can't stop it, and that's the question. Uh, and I don't know if we've got that. I'm pretty confident that we don't right now. Now, can it change? I think it can as the as the offensive line gets better, they gel together. But do we got the horses to get it done? And you know, we ran for 68 yards. Um, you know, against the Saints. Now, granted. We're getting blown out, so that has a lot to do with it. But, I mean, you know, as a team right now, we're averaging 3.7 yards a carry. I'm just looking at my notes to make sure I got that right because I can't even believe it. You got Zach, uh, you know, you got Zeke at 3.5 yards a carry, Rico at 3.7, Deuce Vaughn at 3. Those are our three running backs. Take C.D. Lamb out of the mix. C.D. Lamb's averaging 8.3. Take his numbers out of the mix and uh, – it's probably one of the worst two game stretches of running the football that we've seen in a long time. Um, and can it get better? Now let's just break it down. You know, I think Deuce Vaughn, I mean, it's getting to a point where I just don't know if 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 either we're not using him to, to his best ability or it's just not gonna happen. I don't know. I'm not giving up on him yet. He's a young guy, so I just I don't want to give up on him yet, but you got to start wondering. Rico, I think it, he is what he is. And then you got Zeke and I and, and Zeke when used right. And you saw it in the in the Browns game when used where he can be used, can be an effective running back. Is he going to be a 20 carry guy? No. I mean, you saw it 10 carries, 40 yards. Had, I think he had a couple of receptions that, that picked up first down. So he's going to get some of that pass protections, always going to be top notch. So he doesn't need to go anywhere. You know, then you got Dalvin Cook, who's waiting in the wings, who's on the practice squad. And you just got to wonder at what point, I mean, let's not wait too long. Do we give him a shot? And let's see what he's got. Um, if you look at Dalvin Cook, take away last year because, you know, he signed with the Jets. That whole season blew up. You know, it just never transpired to what it was. So that season was kind of like a lost season for him. Look at his four seasons before that. 
he was averaging over 4.6 yards a carry every year. He didn't have that drop off. And a lot of people are like, well, he's, you know, he's old. He's, you know, he's 29. I mean, you saw what Kamara did. I mean, they're the same age. And Dalvin Cook is kind of like that running back. He doesn't take he doesn't take a lot of punishment in his career. So he's I think he's still got some juice left. And this running back room just they don't got no juice. And we need it. And you know, we can look back and I think we all question the draft. And why did you not get a running back? When you see Allen, you know, with, with the Jets doing what he's doing, you saw Jalen Wright when he had some opportunities doing what he's doing. You see Gibbs, you see Bijan, you see a lot of these young running backs. It's a young man's game. And, you know, we, you know, we, we, we've got to do something. And you're, there's really not a whole lot you can do. I know there was rumors, hey, trade Trey Lance to Miami, try and get right. I mean, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but they got to figure out something. And what you've got in the cupboard is Dalvin Cook. And, you know, you're going up against a Ravens team. You're going to go up against a desperate Ravens team. They're going to be, they're going all in. They're going all out. And we're a team that got embarrassed. I mean, is what it is. You got to own it. We got embarrassed. We need all hands on deck. And if Dalvin Cook can give us some sort of spark in the running game, I mean, you get, I mean, what do you got to lose? You're averaging uh, three yards a carry with what you got now. So if it were me, unless there's just an issue with conditioning or whatever like that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm having him Zeke. And in the first game, I'm going to have him Zeke and Rico that way if Dalvin, you know, if he's got to spell him a little bit, whatever we, we don't have, you know, they're kind of there. So we got what we got. Cause I think Deuce Vaughn's the odd man out early. I think long-term if Dalvin's shown what he needs to show, then I think you're running Dalvin Zeke. And, and I think he got deuce because deuce can at least he's got the young legs, smaller guy, but he can maybe mix some stuff up, you know, getting him out in the open field with passes and this and that he brings some versatility, obviously special teams. So he's got a spot if that's what you're going to do. Cause you're only going to start, you know, you're only going to have three running backs active. So that's pretty much what you got to do. And then you got Hunter Lipke, you know, maybe they got to get him, him some carries. But to me, we've got a couple running backs are, between Zeke and Rico. They're about the same. I think Lipke's not going to really add much juice either. Uh, and then you got Deuce, who just really is struggling. And you know, I was I was looking at I was looking at some of these numbers, man, and it just it blew my mind. Uh, and I'm not a big analytical guy, and I'm not you know I kind of see I want to see it and. You know, what I'm seeing is in the analytics is exactly what my eyes are seeing. I mean, you look at yards before contact, 2.8 yards. I mean, that means our offensive line needs to be doing a better job, right? Creating holes because our guys aren't getting very far past the line of scrimmage before contact. But probably the scarier part is yards after contact, um, 0.9. Um, no broken tackles. Uh, on rushes that is that is a major problem so i wanted to uh i wanted to compare that just to hey man maybe i'm crazy maybe i need to figure it out and i haven't looked at this but i am going to i'm going to check now and let's see what we got here let's look at this season we go to 2024 and let's look at them and we're going to look at the advanced stats and Maybe there's something I'm missing. Hopefully there is. But, you know, you look at Alvin Kamara. I mean, he's averaging 5.1 yards before contact. Um, Jamal Williams, 3.2. Taysom Hill, 3.1. I mean, they're averaging almost four yards a carry as a team before contact. We're under three. So that we're at 2.8. So that's a problem. I mean, that's a problem that we've got to get resolved and get fixed quickly. And, you know, if you guys got some answers, drop a comment. Drop it in the chat. Let's have this conversation. Join us live. We are going to be live Wednesday night. Uh, Kelly and I, we're going to get this thing figured out. And then more importantly, your boy's going to be at AT&T Cowboys Cave Tailgate Party. So if you guys are going to be at AT&T, you need to find us in Lot 10. We're going to be having a good time. Everybody's welcome. All families welcome. We do accept, you know, donations for food and drink to help cover the cost. But we're going to have it all set up, man. It's going to be a great time. There's going to be Cowboys Nation royalty at this at this tailgate party. So we're getting in on Saturday. We are ready to roll. And you know when your boy is there, 
They, you know, they don't like leave. They don't like, they don't like making me disappointed after a game. They don't want me flying in that Learjet or using all that fuel going out there and then coming back, wasting a whole bunch of money, being disappointed. They know they got to wake up. I think the Cowboys will. It's going to be a hard fought game. They better be ready to play. I think they're going to be ready to play. We're going to get into a lot of this defense because that's another huge problem. Run offense, run defense. We all talked about it all off season. And then, you know, we thought we felt pretty good the first game, but you know, we didn't really face a top-notch running back because obviously Chubb wasn't there. We had a big lead, so the running game kind of, you know, we we got to do our thing. This game, you know, we were started getting in a shootout, so maybe the running game didn't get going. But, I mean, time's wasting. We got to get this thing figured out. So, Cowboys Nation, I appreciate all the support. Make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you guys share it with Cowboys Nation. Definitely appreciate it. I uh, just wanted to just drop a quick 10-minute 10, 10 video. Thank you so much. Have a good one. We will see you tomorrow night live in the cave. Give me somebody that's hungry. Give me somebody that's hungry. I need somebody.